This is Inco 1300 watts wet and dry vacuum cleaner. This is MR Flex 690 watts cyclone bugless handheld vacuum cleaner. And this is Xiaomi's 40 watts vacuum cleaner mini. This is large, medium, and small. Do we still need this vacuum mini even if we already have these two? Join me until the end of this video to know more of these household appliances. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and send me super thanks if you can. This Inco vacuum cleaner has 30 liters capacity for dust and liquid. It can suck 1.6 to 1.8 cubic meters of dust per minute. Its air pressure is gauged at 16 to 18 kilopascals. I regularly use this vacuum cleaner in my workshop in tandem with my power tools, especially the table saw. This is also very useful in extracting water whenever there is flooding or panding in your house. I have a previous video about this Inco vacuum cleaner. Please check the link above. For this MR Flex vacuum cleaner, I have two videos. First, when I introduce and explain why this is called Cyclone Vacuum Cleaner. The second video was when I exposed that this will heat up on your hands and will overheat in the long run and it will stop and will only resume after about 45 minutes. If you ask my opinion, I don't recommend buying this vacuum cleaner from MR Flex. And this is my latest Xiaomi Vacuum Cleaner Mini. The rest of this video will deal about this. It says here, Mi Vacuum Cleaner Mini EU, meaning this is a European version. It says here, lightweight and compact, powerful, powerful suction, easy to em empty dirt container on the other side. It says here, brushless motor, cordless dust removal, and high efficiency filtration. This is the main unit I suppose this is a pilot light just above the power button me logo here media logo I mean okay because it's, but this is branded as media this was released by Xiaomi years ago so um, I just had the opportunity to buy this one recently then the filter is here this is the cap there's a hinge here and at the bottom is the charging port. This is USB-C. And then uh, opening for the nozzle here. And this is the charging cable. This is type C. And on the other end is uh, USB-A. We have the uh, brass nozzle. Then we have the uh, what is this? Crevice nozzle and the power charger or the adapter. Nothing else except the last is the manual. And this is the um, filter pack. There are two filters inside the box. This is given to me by Xiaomi Global. Okay, for being uh, loyal to them. <laughs> The vacuum mini is just 267 mm in height or about the height of the Xiaomi Instant Hot Water Dispenser and its diameter is 55 mm or about the size of the Xiaomi Smart Suites at the bottom of this glass. The weight is about half a kilo, just enough to be carried anywhere. So you can easily carry this when cleaning the top of your shelves or, or your desk. What makes this more portable is it is battery operated and can finish cleaning in about 30 minutes. The battery is 2000 milliampers and it's not removable. Most likely it's a lithium ion battery. Its charger is rated uh, 5 volts, 2 amperes and uh, 10 watts. So, so does it mean that the vacuum mini can be charged using any cell phone charger? The answer may be yes or no because the manual says if the light indicator is quickly blinking red, it means the charger is not compatible. Hence, Xiaomi is uh, recommending using only this charger to charge the vacuum mini or use only this charger cable when using other power sources. 
So we'll try charging it using uh, the USB port of this Xiaomi Cube extension outlet, which is 5 volts and 2 amperes. Okay. This is also Type C. Look at the uh, indicator light. It's slowly blinking white, so it means it's charging. Okay, slow blinking white means it's charging. So this is compatible. If it's already fully charged, the white light here stays on and goes off. Then if there's no light at all, it means the battery is already full or your charger is not working properly. Also, we'll try this 3 ampere Samsung cell phone charger, which is the charger of my uh, Note Ultra 20. Let's try to check. The light is uh, slowly blinking, so it means the charger is working and it's compatible with the battery. We'll try also with a power bank. Then we are going to use the cable also of the Vacuum Mini because that's the recommended one if you use other sources. Okay, let's check. This is fully charged. It's slowly blinking. So it works. So in other words, um, the charging is not limited only to its own power charger. We can use other power sources to charge this uh, vacuum mini. When the indicator light stays on and it's white, it means the battery level is high. But if it's red and the light is always on, it means the battery level is low. When the battery is depleted, the red light quickly blinks and then goes off. I am charging the uh, vacuum mini now and uh, let's see how much time is going to be consumed for its full charging. After more than 1 hour and 30 minutes, if I reinsert the USB port, USB plug, see there uh, the light is steady. If the light is blinking red and white alternately on, it means trouble. It's either the dirt container is full or the filter or nozzle is clogged. So you have to clean it. It's clogged. <laughs> Even the nozzle is also clogged. The very small sticker here reminds us to uh, clean the filter once the light here, the pilot light, blinks uh, red and white. Um, you need to empty the dirt container. Uh, all you have to do is uh, slide down this uh, lock here. And you can see the color orange beneath it. It means you can already push the lock to open the cup and empty the dirt container. Okay, then all you have to do is uh, go to the garbage bin and uh, empty the, the, the container. Okay, so the cover here is airtight with a uh, circular uh, gasket here to ensure that there's no dust leakage. Supposedly, this is lock. Uh, lock position, but I can open it. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. But you need force to open it. Then to open the dirt con container, uh, there's a small dot here at the back. There's a small dot. I hope you can see it. And below, there's a lock sign and there's the unlock sign. So to remove the dirt container, turn the dirt container to the position uh the dot to position the dot to the unlock sign okay so you you twist then remove that's it on the dirt container the filter is like a bucket it has a handle this one 
and you have to pull out the filter out of the container here the outside filter is a metal mesh filter that serves as the primary filter and blocks larger particles inside is the HEPA filter which blocks the uh, fine dust Xiaomi is not stating the size of the particulate matter this HEPA filter can block to remove the HEPA filter take note of the lock and the unlock uh, the lock and the unlock sign at the bottom of the filter bucket you have to turn the filter to your left this one to open and there it goes you can see now the uh, HEPA filter the dirt container the entire thing the mess filter and the HEPA filter can be rinsed with water according to Xiaomi but I doubt if the HEPA filter could stand the water in the long run and it's it looks durable Xiaomi did not say the capacity of the dirt container anyway you can just empty it conveniently you can directly use the vacuum mini with only this nozzle connector here or you can extend the vacuum we need it with this brass nozzle or you can use the crevice this one you can use the crevice for cleaning slits and uh, narrow portions you can also extend with the use of the brush on top of the crevice to extend the vacuum mini the power switch is a push on and off button so you have to push it with a little force um, this has a quick start after pushing the button the motor starts immediately and when you press it again it stops almost immediately Xiaomi says the quick start or quick stop prevents dust from staying in the nozzle when you turn off the machine. It's not really perfect. Contrary to Xiaomi's claim that the quick stop and quick start will not leave any uh, dirt on the nozzle. But you can see here the nozzle is uh, has this uh, dirt. The noise from the brushless motor inside and the suction power is quite noticeable but much lower than the household and heavy duty vacuum cleaners. The noise level as measured by this app is about 80 decibels which is equivalent to the noise of a busy traffic. The air exits here at the bottom through these vents circling the USB port. The air here is already filtered since the dust are blocked by the mess and uh, HEPA filters. Xiaomi says this is a straight dual vent which is designed to reduce energy loss and improve cleaning uh, efficiency. It's called straight because it's directly straight from the input, from the, from the intake, then down to the vent. I am testing this product the natural way, wherever and whenever it should be used. According to Xiaomi, the vacuum mini has suction power of 6 kPa or about one third of the suction power of the Inco vacuum cleaner. That suction power makes the vacuum mini efficient because this only consumes 40 watts of power while the Inco vacuum cleaner has 1300 watts. 40 is about 1 over 30 second of 1300. While you have to recharge the battery for about one and a half hours, you can only use the vacuum mini for only about 30 minutes. Although this is still efficient compared to other brands of the same specs like the uh, HomeVac X11 of Eufy, which has only 5.5 kilopascals of suction power and its battery should be charged in 2.5 to 3.5 hours but it will only last for about 13 minutes maximum and it is hefty price at more than 3000 pesos i bought my xiaomi vacuum mini at only about 1300 pesos going back to our question at the beginning of this video do we still need this mini vacuum cleaner when we already have this heavy duty vacuum cleaner or this household vacuum cleaner 
My answer without uh, hesitation, a big yes. Here's why. This Xiaomi vacuum mini is portable and it can also be used on cars. Being portable, it is convenient to use. This is too heavy to clean our shelves. You can't carry for a longer time any household vacuum cleaner to clean the top of your cabinets or shelves, appliances, or even your desk. Instead, use this for shelves. It's not advisable to use heavy-duty vacuum cleaner for your desk and shelves because it's too powerful to do the job. But we cannot use this mini vacuum cleaner for heavy tasks, including water extraction. You still need these three vacuum cleaners because it has its own purpose and role. If you are like me doing DIY uh, projects like making cabinets for our homes, then you must have this uh, heavy duty vacuum cleaner. For this household uh, vacuum cleaner, this is good for general cleaning and a vacuum mini is needed when portability requires. If you have questions or experiences about these vacuum cleaners, please comment below and we'll have a intelligent discussion. Please support this channel, subscribe and click that notification bell. Thank you so much. I'm Jun Tariman. Hi-Tech. Bye-bye.